Welcome to another edition of SoCal Sense. I am Jeff, and today I'm joined with a brand new guest, the lovely and talented... Anna Marie Dobbins. Welcome, Anna Marie. Thanks for having me. Uh, so today, we are going to be smelling some Red Fall. They're red fragrance bottles. Mm -hmm. Some of them are best suited in the fall. Some of them can go a little bit other seasons as well. Um, but just think, we're, we're doing red. Honor of, honor of the red bottles. There so we go. That's the main focus, is the bottle is red. And most right. of them work in fall, but some work other seasons as well, too. So cool. you ready for this? Let's do it. Time for the first one. Let everyone know okay. how you feel. The extra shake and give it a little shake shake. Hmm. That one's nice. I'm getting a lot of the alcohol. Yeah. Which I um, have learned is the, uh, what, what do we say? It's, it's the, the perfumer's alcohol. Sometimes when you first spray it, something. Yeah, but you, you call it the opening smell. What did you say? It's kind of, so we, this is actually the second video we filmed. We're airing these out of order, but it's a lot of times when you first spray something, you might smell a little bit of the alcohol from the perfumer. Yeah, so, so I'm getting that for a second. So I feel like I need to let it air out to be truthful. Cool. But off the beginning, it's not doing it for me. It's um, it's sweet, but it's a little musty. Yeah. It's a, it's a little older for me. Okay. I wouldn't pull for this. I don't love it. I don't like it really at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna be bold here, and I'm gonna give it like a two. Okay. I don't love it. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Not your vibe. Not my, not my vibe. So it could change on the dry down. So we it will could. be smelled on the dry down. Um, this is called Eros Flame. Mm. Kind of yeah. uses orange and like a vanilla. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I, I, but I'm I more can, like I can see earthier where you... tones. And so I feel like yeah. with, I'm just not more of a fruity kind of sweet scent. It's not my go-to. Yeah, and I can see where you get the mustiness from it as well. Yeah, so yeah, cool. two. Two, so not digging it. Not digging it. Not digging it. Uh, What's crazy, this is the second video we filmed. So when the other, the other one airs, uh, Two out of ten means you really didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm honest. Cool. Arrows Flame, two out of ten. Sorry, Arrows. We're smelling coffee between sets, like we always do. <laughs> you ready for the next one? Yeah. All right. Let everyone know how you feel about this guy. You can give it a little shake, let it air out for a second. Jeff. I'm not vibing it either. Yeah. I'm not, it's just giving me, this is giving me like strong cologne, like cheap cologne. I hate to say it that way, but that's what it kind of smells like to me. It doesn't, it, it so, smells like someone that's trying too hard. Okay. That. Well, <laughs> once you get through every, all your thoughts, so we have a lot to talk about. We'll come it, back to it. <laughs> I hate to say it that way, but that's my first instinct. Um, do you like the smell though? No. I'm so gonna... scale 10. Scale 10. You know what? I'll give it a little bit better than the last one just because I think I could, I could stand this one more would be like three. Okay. So a step above Arrow's Flame, but still not great yet. Wow. I'm striking out this round. It's all good. There's, we're doing seven today, guys. Okay. So we have five more to find your favorites. Yeah. Um, I'm not a negative Nancy people. It's just, I just don't prefer So it. this is Red 360. Yeah. Um, it is an affordable, like really like lower price fragrance. Um, but a lot of people compare it to Aqua de Joe by Giorgio Armani. So Gio, which is the most warm fragrance of all time. So a lot of cologne guys that spray overspray cologne usually overspray Geo. I think that's what it is. And man. this has a very similar vibe to Geo. So yeah, yeah. You, you feel like you know this type of person, which I'm not gonna say, because it's not nice. But it's like you know this type of person when you smell it on them. Yep. And I don't. Not everybody. I know you're not all like that, but it's just the impression I get because some people have ruined this scent for me. A lot of people have ruined this. Yeah. Don't wear Geo in 2022 20, and 
she doesn't want you to wear a red 360 either. <laughs> They're a little bit different from each other, I will say that. This has a cinnamon note that Geo doesn't have, but this is like Geo meets cinnamon, but at the end of the day, they they smell pretty, pretty similar, so. But who cares about my opinion? Get it if you like it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Don't break it. <laughs> red 360. All right, we're over two on the first two. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get a third one in the win winning category. Ooh, it has a nice mist. I love a nice mist. Yes. Okay. I'm feeling, I'm feeling lucky. Okay, I have thoughts. Okay. My thoughts are, it's nice. It smells too much like a candle. Okay. Like a room scent. Does it, I wouldn't want this on my body. Okay. But I would love this in a candle or like a, yeah, like an essential oil. Diffuser or diffuser something. Diffuser or something like that. So it's nice. It's very cinnamon, like apple pie. You get the fall, you get all of that. So if you are like, that's your vibe, this is what you pull for. But I, I want this in my house, not on my body. So yeah. the smell, I'll give the smell, I'll give the smell a seven. Cause it's a good smell. Okay. How I picture using this is actually like cold night out, seeing like the Christmas lights, the holiday lights. Mm -hmm. Like to me, it's like Thanksgiving through Christmas is this like vibe where it's yeah. like, oh yeah. You just put me there with that. Yeah. yeah. I can definitely see that. I agree. Cool. But you you like it. So I like it. Seven out of 10. Seven out of 10. This is Spice Bomb Infrared. Ooh. Give me that little infrared. That's cool. You ready for the next one? I'm ready. We're getting better. We are. We're, we're getting they've, closer. They've increased each time. Which I prefer that. Wouldn't it be fun? It would be funny if like, by the time we get to the seventh one, you're like, yes, this we'll is see. my jam. TBD. TBD. All right, let everyone know how you think of this guy. Mm -hmm. It's that basic cologne smell. Yeah. It's, it's your basic, if you love like a good, strong, solid cologne, like whatever you think of cologne, that's this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's nice. I'll give it a six. Okay. But it's not, I wouldn't pull for it or want my person to pull for it, but it's nice. But you wouldn't mind smelling on someone if like a stranger Correct. walks by and you're like, oh, that stranger smells good. Yes. Cool. Yeah. But this is Legend Red. Legend. But it smells nice. It smells nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say you would smell like a legend. No legend there <laughs> on this one. But you smell nice. <laughs> cool. Yeah, to me, this is like just one that is like someone like, I feel like this is a gift. Like, mm. I don't think you should go out of your way to get it, but if you were given it as a gift, you'd be like, oh, I can easily just shh, shh, shh. It's a good, strong choice. And it's like one that I feel like a lot of people would like. So if, yeah, if you don't know that person's scent and you're like, what do I get them? And I want to get them cologne. This is a, like a solid choice that I feel like you can't go wrong. Cause right. it's just like your common cologne smell. Yeah. And they'll smell good with it. Yeah. Cool. I agree. Awesome. Legend Red. Legend. Legend. You ready for the next one? Ready. Let everyone know how you feel about this guy. It's still giving me those very fall tones like we talked about, like yeah. the the apple, cinnamon, plum, apricot, I don't know, like all of those like hearty Like kind the of, juicy fruits. Yeah, that you want to put in like a pie. Yeah. So it's like that. It's nice. It's actually wearing on me the more I smell it. Yeah. It took me a minute to kind of figure it out. It's a complicated scent. It's not just like your, your common scent. Yeah. That's how I feel about it as well. Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna actually give it, I'm gonna give it an eight because it is more complicated, meaning like it has a lot more to it than just one smell. Like the the one, what's the one I like, the, cin the cinnamon? Infrared. Infrared. I'm gonna give it above that one because it, it's just not as basic. It, it has a lot more to it. Cool. This is Lome Ideal Extreme. Oh. I actually think of it as a dressed up scent. I can't picture it not dressed up. Yeah, I agree. Like dinner party, event type of situation, like in a suit, mm -hmm. like 
semi-formal to formal. Like, yeah. I couldn't imagine wearing it in like a black t-shirt. I feel like I'd yeah, I agree. feel weird with it. I agree. But great for dress up occasions. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We're winning. We got an eight. We got an eight. Second to last one. Let everyone know, this sprayed so quick. It was like <laughs> <laughs> Be ready for it. Let everyone know how you feel about this one. All right. Ooh. You know, I'm getting a little, like more sweet. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a cotton candy, but mixed with like a cinnamon apple. Like a little okay. like bubble gummy. Yeah. It is a sweet, it is has sweetness to it. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like this is a good transition from summer to fall when you're not ready to fully commit to your fall season. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it has like a nice, like, cause it's still fresh. It's very fresh. It's an everyday kind of scent. It's lightweight, but it's a good, it's a, I like it. It's a good transition everyday thing. I don't think you can wear it like in the heart of winter. Right. Like I think you have to keep it more towards summer. The transitions. Fall, yeah. You know, but like a fall day, especially like, in Los Angeles. Today is actually yeah. kind of chilly outside. Well, 60. chilly. 60 degrees. <laughs> but you could totally rock this one outside in yeah. Los Angeles right yeah. now. No, I'm like in a sweatshirt. Uh, it's cold out. Where there. everyone else that has actually four seasons, they can wear it for yeah. a much longer period. It's so. true. Good. I, you know, I'm going to give this one like a. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Favorite so far. Favorite so far. Awesome. We're this, doing better. This is Polo Red Eau de Toilette. And I'm saying eau de toilette because there's a bunch of different polo reds, so I'm just okay. separating them. So this is the is eau this de toilette unisex? Version. It is not, but it any fragrance can be worn by anybody as long as you're confident with it. So that's a good answer. But yeah. I mean, is this more geared towards? Bebop? So this is this is marketed towards men. Oh really? But I 100% can picture a woman wearing. Because this I as would well. want to wear this. That's why I'm trying to. Yeah. What no. is it geared towards? Oh, interesting. I definitely think you could rock this. Yeah. Yeah, now I that I'm thinking this. about it, it's definitely, like, I wouldn't mind smelling it on a girl. Yeah. But it is geared towards men. Interesting. So, guys, you can totally rock this as well. Yeah, <laughs> no, for sure. It definitely has that, like, I like an earth. So it has yeah. an earth with it, but it has that light kind of earth smell. So it's a good, like, we were talking about transition. Yeah. But I would definitely wear this. Cool. Eight and a half. Eight. Polo red, EDT. The last one. Let's do this. We did a bonus seven for you guys today. Ooh. We're getting fancy. We are feeling Frame spicy. Shaking. Smash it. All right. Okay. Ooh, the last one was an eight and a half, right? Yeah, so last one we just smelled was eight and a half. We kept going up. I we did we... we did go up almost every time. Yeah. I think we started we started up bad and then built our way up. You know what? There's hope. There is. I'm nervous. Uh-oh. Not, not digging this guy? Not dig. Right. I think this is one that has to wear a little bit because I smell a lot of alcohol. So this brand in general, I found it needs to sit for a little bit. I think that's what they, it's um, right Sometimes now it's, it's only like a minute or two, but the alcohol strong. is very strong to Very start. strong. But it does give you that red apple kind of cinnamon. Those still fall flavors or scents, not... I guess could it could be, be flavor. <laughs> Scent, flavor, whatever it is. Apple, cinnamon. It still gives you that, but mixed with a really strong cologne. So it's like, you know that everyday cologne smell that we kind of talked about? So it's yeah. that, but with a hint of fall. Uh -huh. So if you like that kind of, you know, really strong cologne smell, but you just want a little pop of something, this would be a good one for that. So I don't hate it, but I don't, I. I you don't love it either. I don't love it. So I'm, I'm going to give it a meh of a, like a six. Okay. So it's. If someone's wearing it, you'd be like, oh, you smell nice. Yeah. But you, you wouldn't gravitate towards it more than, oh, you just smell nice. I think so. Cool. This is Halloween Man Rock On. Wow. That's a title. Right? So the brand is called Halloween, but the actual fragrance is Halloween Man Rock On. Rock On. <laughs> cool. So we'll be back. We're going to let these dry down. And then she's going to let us know if she likes it better, worse, or the same. We're back on the dry downs. Better, worse, the same. You ready for this? Ready. Okay, so Red 360. You remember. hated this one on the opening. Yeah, still. It reminded you of like that cologne guy that wears the same thing overbearing. Yeah. 
It's still that. Cool. Same. Same, still, Same. still bad. Um, then we'll go, uh, I don't even remember the order we did. So, Arrow's Flame. This one's worn down a little bit. Cause I remember I didn't like this. This was like, I think the first one I did. It was, and you didn't like it. You gave it a, I think a two out but of 10. Now it has that again, it's that strong alcohol. When it, sets, when it gets that and it takes me a minute, I don't love it. But it's worn down a little bit. So I'll bump it up a couple points, whatever I said. Um, you gave it, a, I think it was a two. Oh, <laughs> so I mean, I'll keep it on the lower side. It's not, I, I don't love it, but it is getting better the more it wears. So, so that's we're positive. thinking like four or five or are you going higher? No, I'm still like meh. So you're like, don't wear this one around me, thanks. Um, what's funny is every guest we've ever had smell it actually liked it better on the dry down as well. Yeah. So it's one of those ones that actually improves as it, it does. Settles. It did improve. It did. Okay, so then we have um, Legend Red. This was like you're just like, oh, if you got it as a gift, everyday scent, just smell nice. Come on. You know what? It's actually taking away that everyday kind of scent, and now can I smell? I, I can smell it more. Okay. It's nice. It, it, it still kind of is that every day, but it does have that kind of sandal woody. I'm getting the notes of earth more now, uh -huh. which again, I prefer. I've said it a thousand times. I love an earth smell, but yeah. um, I'm going to bump it up a little bit. Cool. So what would you score it now? Let's just rescore it then. Re I give it like a seven. Seven. So you're digging it now. I'm digging it. It's not like my favorite, but it's like, it's, it's good. It's good. Good. Cool. Legend red. Improved enough to where you're like, nice. Yeah, we're doing good. Then we have I, uh, Polo Red Eau de Toilette. You love this one. Oh, I did. This was the one that you thought you could wear. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice, because it has that it has that sweet smell. I'm gonna keep it at whatever it's at. It's the same. I feel like it was an eight and a half. It was like an eight and a half, it was up there. It was your transitional seasonal yes, fragrance. That's right, mm-hmm, I agree. It's still there. Cool, so still digging nicely. that one. Yeah. Then we have Loam Ideal Extreme. This was our dress up fragrance. You also liked this one. Oh. It was the one you found like complex and. Interesting. Because now I get, I'm getting a lot of like earthy tones, but more of like the smoky earthy. Okay. Now it's kind of giving me a headache. It has, a, it has that like strong, I'm missing the like, the complexity of it a little bit. So the fruit's worn off a little bit for fruit, you. That's what it was. The fruit's gone, and it's just. Do you see why I say I only think of you can wear it in like a dress up situation? Yeah. This isn't an everyday scent because you are gonna smell strong the yeah. whole day because it's gonna want that fruit wears off. Yeah, I feel like with these kind of fragrances, if you're wearing it for anything outside of like a special event or something dress up or that occasion, if you're just sitting on that smell all day long. It can be a little much sometimes. It can give you a headache. Now I do like the smell, but I also would only personally wear it if I was going to like a holiday party, uh, yeah, I a agree. work event or something like yeah, that. Yes, not every day. Spice Bomb Infrared. This you gave a seven out of 10 for. Yeah, I still like it. It's very good. I would still keep it at a seven. It still has this, I feel like the sweet's coming out a lot more. Uh -huh. This one, the sweet stay, which I feel like is a hard thing to do. I feel like it, cause sweet's usually probably a lighter scent. Right. I'm not an expert, but that's what I think. But the fact that it's like wearing nicely and you can still keep the sweet without it being overpowering is nice. It's the same, maybe even a step up, maybe even a bump, little bump up. All right, so what would you, seven and a half, eight? Yeah, I think so. All right, so you, you dig in that one too. Dig in that one. Um, then we have, Halloween rock on. No, no, no. This you didn't like it on the opening. I don't. Uh, rock down. So it went down for you. Rock down. Wah, Halloween wah. rock down. Yeah, it's going to. It's just. It's that everyday cologne smell, but now it's lost the. Even I think it had apple. Yeah. Red apple. No red apple. Now it's just cologne. It's kind of like that. Um when you walk into the Abercrombie store. Okay. That scent. We all know that scent. Yes. That's that one. All right, so you're not digging that one. Nah. I think I, that was all of them because I showed you Hero, Halloween Man Hero. We did Polo Red. We did Legend Red. We did Spice Woman Red. We did Arrow's Flame. We did Red 360. We did this. And here's a bonus scent. Oh. This is Red Tobacco. It's dried down. It's been sitting.
<laughs> Jeff? I feel the exact same way about this fragrance. Jeff. Th this no good. This yeah. is not good. This is like, I don't know what this is. This is like, I feel like someone made this concoction with like all the colognes that they had in their room. They're just like, we're just gonna keep mixing stuff. I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna mix it up. Yeah. You're like, no bueno. Is this Absolutely. the worst of the day? This is the worst. So are we going like one, zero, negative? <laughs> what, are you, what are you gonna go for? I'm gonna go with like a, I'm gonna go to one. One, just not digging red tobacco. I'm just not digging it. It's just not my fave. It's not mine either. I don't enjoy it even, even a little bit. Yeah. Sorry, red tobacco. Sorry, red tobacco. Um, but your favorite today was clearly uh, Polo Red Eau de Toilette. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then your second favorite was Spice Bomb Infrared. Yes. And your third favorite actually happened to be Legend Red. And Legend I didn't like in the beginning. It's true. It made a comeback. It was legendary. And fourth place <laughs> was uh, Loam Ideal Extreme. We did if you notice there was a slight cut there we went through the whole video and with the, the the challenges and it got cut off so we're just summarizing it for you real yeah, quick so that was her top four the beauty after, of technology the, everyone after comparing <laughs> it it literally cut off like right in the middle of her finishing off red tobacco that's so. okay uh thank you for joining us today thank you for having me these were some red bottles they kind of all feel red to me too, like yeah. red notes, apples, cinnamon, cinnamon like, fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And follow us right down below. There's our, our ads. And today is November 5th, Saturday, and you have a Christmas movie of the week coming out on GAC. Yes. So what's, what's the name of the movie? It's called A Royal Christmas on Ice. I co-star with Jonathan Stoddard. It's super cute, family-friendly, fun Christmas movie. Get your hot cocoa and snuggle up on the couch and enjoy and let me know what you think. And if you're watching this not on November 5th, this is playing all throughout the holiday season on GAC. Yes. So you can tune in pretty much any time to catch the Christmas movie. Yeah, check it out. Awesome, thank you. Thanks. Bye guys. Lavo's like the essential. Is that your fragrance? Are you a lavo girl? Oh, Santa Thirty Three, I always joke on the channel about Santa Thirty Three because it's the bougie middle-aged Beverly Hills fragrance. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, some people think it smells like pickles. A lot of people surprisingly think it smells like pickles. Come for me. Who smells like what? No. That's, whenever someone's like, "Oh, Santa Thirty Three." <gasps> One of the first thought is pickles. It smells like a rich library. Yeah, to me it just smells like bougie women in Los Angeles. Anyways, we're gonna <laughs> randomly put this probably at the end of the video, but that's our thoughts on Santal 33, which is her fragrance of the, or that's her go-to fragrance. One of them, yeah. Nothing wrong with it, uh, because honestly, when I go to Beverly Hills in the Grove, because there's a Lalabo store at the Grove, you either smell Rose 31 or Santal 33. Mm -hmm. I like both of those. Uh, on women, so. Yep, yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm a basic girl. Basic. <laughs> She's basic LA. Basic Just LA. roasting her. You're from Tennessee though, right? No, Arkansas. Alabama. Alabama. Close. Close. She's, <laughs> a, she's a southern girl. Roll tide.